Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. 69! Today on This Is Important. It's a 69th episode miracle. Six or nine extra inches. 69, dude. This is a very special event. Miracle. 69, dude. This is a very special event. This is a very special event. Six or nine. Miracle. Six or nine. I love you and let 69. <laughs> and here we go. 69 episodes. Fuck yeah. Only 9,931 more hours until you guys get good at this shit. Keep it up. Wow. 69. Congratulations. And now I hope you guys go for 420. Hello from Canada. Happy 69th episode, guys. I'm a big fan of all your butts, but Blake does have the best butt. 69, dudes, congrats. The 69th episode, I bet it's going to be super tight, butthole. And uh, Kyle, I miss you. You got my tech heart. Oh, my God. Happy 69th episode. Or should I say 69, dude? Can't wait to see you 69ing each other. I hope that you're having an absolutely stupendous 69th episode. It's definitely a call for celebration. This is Nick from Illinois. Happy 69. Get dudes and keep on sucking tits and taking shits. Congratulations on the 69th episode and fuck you, Kyle, for leaving. Bye. You made it to 69. Fuck you. Episode 69, you little slut. Finally, some news worth hearing about. 69th episode. Keep rocking. We love the pod. Kyle, you suck, but we love you. Come back. Happy 69th episode. And I'm just wishing you guys well and peace and love, brothers. This is Sam Atkins. I listen to the pod with my brother Travis all the time. I just got done jerking off all right after I got done listening to the pod. Happy 69th episode. Congratulations on the 69th episode. See in Montana. Congrats on the 69th episode. Fucking love it. Congrats on your 69th episode. I was thinking maybe to celebrate tonight. Why do some 69? Hey, yo, how you? This is Rocky Balboa. Just wanted to say congratulations on episode number 69. So excited for your 69th episode. I love the pod. Makes me laugh every week. 69, D. Hey, boys, this is Dylan from Minnesota. Congratulations on the 69th episode. And the show has gotten a lot better since Kyle left. Fuck, Kyle. Happy 69, dude. I am unbelievably in love with all of you, and I wish you the most tight but whole lives that you guys can have. It was foretold in the ancient tomes that this day would happen. Episode 69. Woo! 69th episode. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Woo! 69th episode. 69, dude! Fuck Kyle. This is Stacy from Massachusetts. You guys have brought so much joy to my life. Keep telling it. Y'all have a good one and stay 69 in. My name is Shelby and I'm a flight attendant in a world full of loose buttholes. Thank you guys for keeping it tight. Happy 69th episode, my friend. Congrats on 69, dude. Congratulations on your 69th episode. This is super exciting for all of us, especially you, Rugaloid. 69th episode! Congrats on your 69th episode. Hope you guys all could celebrate by 69 later. Congrats on the 69th extravaganza episode. <laughs> Carl, I will see you in hell. Happy 69, and I wish you another 69 more. 69 entire episodes. Wow, God. Incredible work. Uh, may your dick get hard and your mouth stay wet. Keep up the good work. Happy fucking 69, dude. Episode 69. It's a huge accomplishment. I can't wait till episode 420. Congrats on 69, guys. I'm really proud of you. And Durs, your boobs are huge. <laughs> Congratulations on your 69th episode. And fuck you, Kyle. Happy 69th, you guys. You've <laughs> earned it. Let's go. RIP, Kyle. What's up, motherfucker? This is Harry Mars. Congratulations on your 69th. 
69th episode, you crazy motherfuckers. Happy 69th episode, boys. Hope it's very steamy and sweaty and sexual. Congratulations on the 69th episode. Love you guys. 69, dude! I love your podcast. I hope you all get wine and dine in 69. Except for Kyle. Freaking see ya! 69, dude! Hell yeah, dude. Excited for the 69th episode of TII. This one better be a lot about porn and 69 and and banging and all that good jazz. Hell yeah, yeah. TII Nation, head out. Congrats on episode 69. You guys are tight buttholes, man. 69 episodes. Nice. Congrats, you did it. 69, dude. This is Sam from Colorado. Just wanted to wish you guys a happy fucking 69th. And let's get to fucking 420, baby. 69 episodes. Very tight butthole. Not loose. Well, oh, wish you guys a happy 69th episode. <laughs> happy 69th. Blake does have the best booty. You guys are all hot, though. 69! 69! Congratulations, guys, on your 69th episode. Woohoo! Hey, it's Workaholics TV. I wanted to thank you for the flowers, and I really hope we Woo! get to see you guys 69 each other on the 69th episode. Horrible seeing you. Stay stupid, human penises. Just wanted to wish you guys a happy 69, dude! Roses are red, violets are blue. You boys make me horny. 42069. Congratulations on your 69th episode. Happy 69th, my dude. Episode 69, huh? Let's get weird. Fucking big booby slut. Congrats on the 69th episode. Kyle betrayed me. I hope you guys celebrate the 69th episode by giving thanks. Maybe like 69 each other. 69 butthole. 69th episode. Loving it. Keep doing what you do. Go off, Kings. 2022. This is important. TII. Nation. Hey, 69. Hey. Haha. Big boobs. Big old boobs. 69. Uh, tits. Yeah, 69 boobs and tits. 69 episodes, dude. That's fucking rad. I'm literally sitting on the toilet taking shit right now, and I want to tell y'all that you fucking rock. Congratulations on 69. Congratulations on 69 episodes. I knew you could do it. Greetings from Denmark. Lykke med jeres 69 episode. This is important. I gør det skide godt. I skide sjov. You have no pig. <laughs> the big 69. Here's the 69 more. Cheers, guys. On this momentous 69th episode, I only have one thing to say. Let's go! Hey, it's from Melbourne, Australia. I'm a bit of a pissed off arugulite, but I thought I'd drop in to congratulate you guys on 69. I thought you guys were going to get better after 10, but we're not there yet. Hopefully, 69 is the charm. All right. Wow. Thank you, lads. Catch you later. Wow. Excellent Whee! intro. Welcome, everyone. Wow. To the 69th episode of This is Important. Is important. <laughs> important. Yeah. Like what a milestone. That was such long. A long <laughs> intro, <laughs> yeah. dude. My Someone had to say it. God. Well, you know, we put it out there for the... Oh, my God. For the fans to call and... um. And you we did. got a lot of responses. Yeah. Did we get 69 responses? 69! I believe dudes. that was 69 re- responses right there. So we Cool, went, great. Um, did you edit that? No, that was Todd. And we got to give a big, big shout out and flowers we got, to Todd. We uh, got yeah. something like 700 responses. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. And that's too bad. I wish we got 690. Mm-hmm. Right. And those 10 extra people that responded. Yeah. Right. You're off the project. Yeah, sorry. sorry. That was... Peace be with you. I didn't know we were wearing tuxedos, guys. I didn't well, I didn't either, and I just ran up and got it right now. You look oh, amazing. Oh, I didn't have my tuxedo. Also, I got too fat for my tux. Did you guys all get these, like, free tuxes? <laughs> I remember, what? like, a few years ago, I was given a free tux. Is that From where what? you guys got your oh, tuxedo? Oh, yeah, J. Crew gave me this tuxedo. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, me too. Yeah. No, me... I get, But I got it free. I got it. I also did, but I... Uh, I, I can't fit in it anymore. I'm so I'm so proud of you guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, you're probably just really buff in the chest and everything. So. Yeah, I right. got probably buffed up. Laps. We probably got too swole. 69. Wow, happy 69, everybody. What a freaking mile- milestone. I hope we have, like, a lot of surprises in uh, 
in store for the audience? Surprises. They're different than surprises. They're surprises, and we'll get into that later. Because they're stupid, but they are indeed surprises for some of us. So how's everybody feeling? Is you got your? I got some apple cider. I'm feeling really good. Got a beer. Are you? Uh, are you off the sauce right now, Blake? Are you drinking apple cider? Uh, yeah, I'm doing the the New Year's uh, the cleanse. You know, everybody kind of mm-hmm. jumps on Jan- uh, January to just hit the reset button. Uh, you know what I do is I j- I drink. Uh, I still drink. Right, because you know how like you yeah. clean a bathroom with cleaning yeah. products. There's alcohol mm-hmm. in cleaning products. That's what I'm doing. I'm cleaning out my body with alcohol. Cleaning the I'm system. Gonna, I'm still yeah. going to send it. So, but what are you doing? I mean, in that science. Are you smoking yes. more weed about it? Or? I, I do. I do tend to smoke more weed when I go uh, beer and alcohol sober. So Okay. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll have to get you fitted with some can. Isn't yeah. that what um, yeah. Ky- Kyle, he gave up alcohol, but then he just did weed? What an idiot. Okay, yeah, okay, fucking, I like that, that a little, sucks, dude. Little that guy shots sucks, fired, man. huh? Well, shots fired. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, he gave up. Uh, uh, Kyle Nuacek, the ex member of the podcast. That's right, um, that was his last name. That was his last name. He actually um, gave up. Oh, wait, wait a minute. A minute. Oh my God. Wait it's a 69th episode <laughs> miracle. <laughs> Creeping, 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 creeping. Now we're back together oh. again. La, 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 la. Very la, nice. La, la, la. What's up? Kyle, do a check. Happy, Happy 69th episode, gentlemen. <laughs> wow. Is- to what do we owe the honor? My goodness. You know? Now, are you ca- now this is exciting. So, uh... Uh huh. <laughs> By coming on the 69th episode, yeah. you're now vowing to come back on the podcast full time, and you're ba- back as a 100% full time member of the podcast. 69. Wow, we wasted we wasted no time, no time with getting down to brass tacks. Yeah. Is that uh, what's Adam happening? Business yeah. in the front. <laughs> Party in Adam's the back. all business. No time for a party. We're businessmen now. I'm a, I'm a businessman. Hey, you know, sometimes you get... Here's the thing. <laughs> here we go. Here's the thing. Here we go. <laughs> My schedule freed up. I'm here. <laughs> oh, yeah. What up, yeah. baby? Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. What up? Now we're back together again. La, 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 la. Hey, you know what, though, Kyle? Yes, yeah, Saunders. I... I I heard from a little bird mm-hmm. that you were you were still listening to the podcast, though. Is that true? Uh, I did listen to one or two to see if you guys did ever I came around on the fucking Sizzler thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what does come around on the Sizzler mean? What well, does that mean? remember well, right before Kyle <laughs> jumped off pod, abandoned mm-hmm. ship, we got into the whole thing about... I'm going to Sizzler, and right. that, yeah. a lot of people thought that guys, was the straw that broke the camel's back. Right. <laughs> right. It happened to line up at the right time, so I did check in to see what y'all were saying about that, because I did sing it, and there was a lot of noise coming some, in from the internet at Adam me. still looks confused, because it was like, instead of going to Disneyland, he was like, going to Sizzler, and we were like, oh, yeah, sure. going to Sizzler, from, man. From, from but white then it was can't White Man jump. Can't, white jump. can't Jump. Kadeem Hardison, I believe, said it? Yes. Was that what uh, pushed you off the project? Yes. That we were kind of going in on you a little bit about... <laughs> See ya. Yeah. About Sizzler. Genuinely, no. It just was the schedules of that, and then my schedule happened to line up. So I listened to two okay. to see what happened, and then okay. you guys are going to have to catch me up on the rest. What did I miss? Oh. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of really hot fire. Uh, yeah? I don't even know I'd if we like, did any more than that. That You might be caught up. A lot of political, poly-charged stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got uh, real charged for a State few of the episodes. Union stuff. And we missed uh, your... Your boobs we missed your side of the argument. Um, yeah. So, what, how do you how do you feel about uh, 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 Joe Biden uh, being the president? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Biden is the president of the United States, hey, right? All right. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? I'm saying right. Are I'm you asking the question? Are you I agreeing don't know. with that? Are you a Go Brandon guy? Is it Go Brandon? <laughs> Let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon, dude. <laughs> They are what so good with that. Let's it's go. super funny, and like it is. it's a fun little like wink. It is. Ugh. I love it. I think it is funny as hell. For those of you, are you in the know, Kyle? Adam, you know, Bro, let's go, I, Brandon. No, let yeah, me tell you means, guys. I uh, seriously fuck Joe, the, Joe Biden. Which I, yes, I'm like, don't say it. People will know. Uh, I'm like, why don't why we should all have instead of cursing, we should say just be more supportive of someone with a completely different name than the person we're making fun of. Right. Yeah. yeah right. You know? I mean, I feel like that's what they're 
We. Everyone. We're all doing it. I say uh, every, I say the whole world. Let's, let's all adopt this. So if mm-hmm. we're going to say like – uh, like, like, uh, as the thirty people said, "Fuck Kyle" in the mm-hmm. preamble in, <laughs> yeah, the, si- really in the Sizzler reel. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe Sizzler they should reel. say, <laughs> the "They should say, uh, let's go, um, Greg." Yeah, let's go, you Greg. Know? Let's go. Yeah. Well, it's attack. It's what is it? It's attack with sarcasm, right? It's but, like. Uh, it's that, like, but yeah, I think it's go, supposed bro. to sound like "fuck Joe Biden." No, the uh, the let's origin go, of it was there was a NASCAR guy who had just won a like a race or something. They were interviewing him, or something. And, and the crowd in the background was <laughs> ch- chanting "fuck Joe Biden," and right. the, they were kind of picking it up on the microphone during the interview. Mm-hmm. And the person's like, "Oh yeah, they're uh, they're saying let's go, Brandon." So then that caught on, right? So it does sound similar. Yes, and right. it's, it is very funny. It's and if your name is Brandon, are you like having a good day? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if you are like what I mean, you're it's you're kind of crossed up if you're like a, your name's Ooh, Brandon, but right. you're a huge Biden supporter. And is that so a like, real thing? Anytime someone like yells at you like, "Let's go Brandon." And you're like, "Yeah." Oh, wait. There's no Brandon that's a jo- a Joe Biden fan, right? Mm. Yeah, that's probably true. I, like I bet yeah, Brandons none. None. are 100% yeah. uh uh-uh. non-Biden fans. Anti-Joe. Anti-Joe. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, anti-Joers. Yeah. Wow, you guys really have gotten very polychar. Yeah, we yeah, have. yeah, polychard. We kind of like to break things down on the six on the sexiest episode. Yeah, and we don't even say polychar anymore. We say pocha. We just don't have time to say, <laughs> <laughs> say pocha. Yeah, we're, it's yeah. a very pocha pod. <laughs> it's yeah. not gonna stop being pocha. Pocha, pocha, pocha. Sixty nine. Yeah. Also, I was curious because I, I was sitting in the wings here listening to that uh, that nice little uh, whatever Sizzler. clip. That the seven Sizzler. minutes Sizzler, Sizzler reel. Sizzler reel. And, uh, a lot of people saying uh, "fuck, fuck me." What uh, what's going on? You guys been holding that, or what's what's you guys been talking shit? I think there was a lot of animosity <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. from You've the been fans. Oh, yeah, the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? Um, I think there was a lot of animosity from the fans mm-hmm. that sure. uh, you betrayed us and you mm-hmm. left us in our time of need. Uh, over the holidays, it was your time of <laughs> yeah. need. You didn't hey, know specifically. That? I know. See, I was. You, I was needy. Yeah. Oh. You didn't even oh my God. think to wonder if we would need you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> didn't even. I, Kyle betrayed me. Oh, oh, that's on the board now. Yeah, yes. That's on the yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay, so yeah. I'm coming back a motherfucking well, heel. Well, oh, okay. Shit. Okay. Well, yeah. I think it. I, I don't yep. know if it's so much you know that you left. It's kind of the way it was very abrupt. As you know, you didn't even you you backpedaled and sent that text message screenshot, but the arugaloids mm-hmm. were left leaderless. Mm-hmm. It was just I, you just dropped yo, off the map. Mm-hmm. I wasn't gonna say a damn thing, and then honestly, all of the noise that was sent at me, a lot like, of chatter, are you alive, mm-hmm. a lot of chatter. Did you a lot feel of loved? Shit was I felt very confused because I thought yeah. we were cool. Well, to I be thought, fair, we, yes. I thought it was cool. They I were we talked about it. We did no. say fuck you, um, <laughs> right, quite right, a lot, right, at, right yeah. out, right out of the gate. <laughs> So I feel like people wanted to be on like the train with us and have fun, yeah. and it's a it's a nod and a wink, a little not even Woo. really, but um, you're back, baby. <laughs> I'm here, man. I yeah. mean, you know, now I just we're back together. Th- honestly, again. it was it la, was la, la, uh, la, la, la. call it a mental health break. I had too much shit on my plate, and the scheduling was going nuts, and mm-hmm. we were finishing up shadows, right. and I was doing the last couple episodes, and mm-hmm. shit got down to the wire. Mm-hmm. And it has it as it always does in television. Absolutely. And I had we to I, yeah. I had to, bro. I had broza. See, but here's the difference between you and me. Betterhealth.com. I'm willing to go crazy for this podcast. I'm, I know, I know. I'm, I, I'm crumbling on the inside. I almost died for the podcast, you know. That is amazing. That's true. Good job. And I and I and I will. I will die for you guys. Uh, so do okay. you think do you think uh, okay. that that was an asshole Lucky move donkey. to leave us right. sort of yes. stranded? Yeah, that's kind of where. Or I think, do we think it was a bitch move? Yes. Oh, bitch or asshole? Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Yes, yes. yes because yes. we're you. We established that you were a bitch before, right? Yeah, I'm a bitch. Yeah, right. but I don't but was believe that. An asshole that. Move or I right believe up? I believe Kyle is more of an asshole than he is giving himself credit for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, I'm into that. I'm into that. <laughs> Give me the asshole credit then. Was it? Was, what was it for yeah! you guys? Okay. So what is that? Where does? Where does? Where do I stand? So where do I stand? Well, it depends. If you, I mean, I, yeah, that's a toss-up. <laughs> where does? Where do you think you stand? stand? I guess I would like to hear it from you. 
<laughs> I yeah. always thought that I this was... This is our most charged episode, by the way. I yeah, love this. Yeah, this Pochar. I always Let's clear the air and let Adam a, just go uh, on a, a, that a for a itch. little bit. Okay. I always <laughs> right. thought that I was a bee with an itch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm not going to say it. But and I then you had to scratch this... it. You had to scratch that itch. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was kind of asshole, but not to you guys, more to the fans. And mm. I'll speak to the aro- Arogaloid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's his yeah, first time back. Go off. Arogaloids, listen up. There's a message. Listen, Arugaloids, we are now calling ourselves Arogaloids. Okay, this is the big news coming back. You guys just eat a ton of Rolos. (laughs) (laughs) The Rologoids. The Rolos, underrated. We're now the Rologoids. No, but I will apologize because I feel like that's where I left people stranded. I think I communicated mm-hmm. with you guys behind mm-hmm. the scenes what was mm-hmm. going yes. on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you took it to another level yeah. for entertainment, right. which I kind of dig. I just knew nothing yes. about, I guess. Yeah, for yes. entertainment. For entertainment. You said I was dead? You said I was dead? You no, said I, I was think, dead. I think dead, dead to, to us. us. Yeah, to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. I got yes. so many messages saying, are you alive? What? Okay. That's fair. Well, I think people, well, people are like, Kyle wouldn't betray and and leave his friends. Uh, he's not an asshole. Mm-hmm. Right. But he just apologized. Freaking see ya. You just, apo- you just apologized. Yeah, they didn't know. They didn't know that that was a bitch move and not an asshole move. Yeah. I guess I'm just like, you know, maybe I'm like yin yang, you know, maybe I'm like as much bitch as I am asshole. And maybe that's the lesson that's- here. Maybe I, maybe I showed you guys a little asshole. Maybe I showed you a little asshole, Kyle. As speaking as a bitch, it was inspiring. I would, I, I mm. want to make my <laughs> play as an asshole coming up. So I'm mm. really trying to devise the right time to really let my asshole fly. Well, I think this goes to show that no matter if you are a bitch or an asshole, mm-hmm. you, you can still do the same things. If you want to leave your friends right. in a lurch and uh, betray the community. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As a bitch or an asshole, mm-hmm. you can still do it, no mm-hmm. matter w- if you are a bitch or an asshole. Right? It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You can still get the same the same thing it. done. <laughs> right. And to yes. be clear, he he's here. He just apologized. A huge yeah. bitch move. Yeah. That was. Um, <laughs> that's how you. I know you're not an asshole because you weren't like I had shit to do. You yeah. Said, no. So maybe it's not the yin yang. Yeah. I feel like. If you were a real asshole, you would have been like, oh, okay. is that, Oh, so that that's how it's going to be? And then you just cut the feed, and then you dip out. Or he'd be like, <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet and watch you guys. Right, which is uh, what I did at the is, beginning of this. Yeah. Which, and how was that for <laughs> that you? That is true. It was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> which I wonder how many podcasts Kyle is going to last because he what he doesn't realize One? is that we're about to do a ton of podcasts this next month. Uh, to prepare because we are oh so a podcast marathon and the look on his face is <laughs> Durs will be shooting a movie in Mexico and I will be really? shooting a TV show in Berlin Germany we're international now and, and so we're trying oh, yeah. to to stockpile as many episodes as mm-hmm. possible so we don't have to deal with the uh, crazy mm-hmm. nine or ten hour time difference cool. so hold up. So we're yeah, see yeah. We'll I wonder, see. you know what, Adam? I mean, to your point, I guess I wonder how many episodes I'll last as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't really <laughs> I don't really know at all. We don't depends. Know. What what do we want the over under to be? Two? Ten. Ten. Six. Ten? Go ten. real, go ten. Yeah. If you ten. want real, go ten. You're ten. an inside trader though. You can't I mean you know. Yeah, I can manipulate this. I don't I don't I don't know. I think I think six because we're doing That's a good over under. Yeah. I think yeah. six is is the real number. Okay, and I think All it's right, gonna be cool. less. And I think it's gonna be less than six. And this one can't. Right. And this one can't. Uh, it, it can't start with this podcast. It has to be the the next. It has to oh, be seventy. Because why? That's like the first this. one. So it's just seven. Because he's already doing this one. This Wait, is so the, this is seven. a special event. <laughs> right. So seven. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get the. Or six. Lot, lot well, seven. He's already on this podcast. Yes. We're saying uh, how many. And I'm he counting around one. for afterwards. Okay, well, then I'll say seven. Then I'll say seven. <laughs> this is, we're always really good at bets and over unders, <laughs> and it's I want to get into the weeds on this. <laughs> well, that was the weirdest thing. Adam just changed the number. Uh, yeah, seven. Yeah. You, ch- you said not this. You could just change your number. If we're counting this one. Well, I guess I just don't know why you wouldn't count this one. Because he's already on this one. I know, one. but this is the first one. He's back. one. 
Yeah, but this it's is still the, 60, the one. <laughs> this is sixty nine, dude. This is a very special event. Uh, I knew uh, Kyle wouldn't miss sixty nine. They're all special, and that's what he's gonna grow to realize. Kyle never misses a sixty nine, baby. <laughs> oh no, I, I show up him. there every goddamn sixty nine, baby. If I know anything about Kyle, uh, is he will not remember that one time that when that girl wanted to have a threesome with us, Kyle. And then, what? and then we didn't, we didn't 69, do it. 69, dudes! Yeah. Do you remember yeah, that? Then we just 69 each other. Oh, we, remember that? that? that what, I'm really happy you remember we that? didn't. Uh, I don't remember that. <laughs> oh. I'm really happy we didn't because then that'd be like a really weird yeah. thing that we have between us. Like, because I for sure would have probably seen your like the back of your nutsack or something. Mm -hmm. Like in a weird it. position. Right. I'm glad we didn't do that. Oh, you're saying it. If you guys did a threesome together, the two of you and a girl, you would have seen his nutsack. I'm sure. I mean, I I'm would sure hope so. you're seeing like nutsacks and like the back of nutsacks and maybe a bubble. If she calls for two cocks, one box, you guys doing that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Good I guess answer. we would have had to. I guess we would have had to. But, yes. But, but we, in the moment, we we were like, no, no, this w this will change our friendship dynamic forever. I'm happy. I and, I agree with you there, Adam. I'm glad we had the wherewithal no. to say, you know what? Let's and, not do this. And then and then who would have known? Maybe we would have, yeah. And maybe we would oh, have what? in the moment fell yeah. in love, and then yeah. and then we end up fucking each other. Two cocks, no and box. Then, and then we no longer right. we don't have wives. You don't have kids. Two cocks each other's mouths. <laughs> Sixty nine. And, and, we, uh, and we're just together forever. You know, that could have that could have changed everything. <laughs> Two cocks got married. I think that would be really interesting to um, to do with a friend, like have a threesome with a very close friend. And I wonder where that could lead. I feel like that's how it usually they are, right? Aren't they usually friends? Wouldn't they yeah. be? Is it? I feel like I feel like it's a scenario where it's a total stranger. I'm saying it's it's you. It's it's probably usually not yes. an anonymous dude. It's probably like. Two actually, homies and some girls actually, like actually, I like your actually I think that this is called like when you go and search for your unicorn, right? Oh yes, great movie. Lauren Lapkiss. Yeah, when a couple wants to have a threesome and then they go search for the random person that's going to be in it that is not going to be a part of their world anymore oh, after okay. this one special night, but they just go find their unicorn and the search for a unicorn is real. So they just find like a like and the unicorn is just like a, a pretty slutty person that's willing to have sex with uh, two complete strangers. Well, slutty mm -hmm. or sexually right. open minded, however you want to say that. Your you know? boobs are yeah. huge. Yeah, but slut I don't say slutty. I don't say slutty as a bad thing. I think sluts kind of yeah. rock. Yeah, so uh, and yeah Adam comes from a too. long line of sluts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Proud sluts. Yeah, yeah. I'm, we're a proud family of sluts. Uh, but look, I, I'm sure that's a real movie. I love the term unicorn. That's yes. fun. Um, it's a movie? Yeah, the unicorn. Mm -hmm. Lauren Lapkus. That, sorry, I, shout out Lauren Lapkus. Lapkus. I think it's uh, Lynn Lapkus and Nick Rutherford. It's very funny. It's good. Oh, really? Lauren Lapkus uh, was just in the movie uh, that I did, uh, that Blake is also in, mm -hmm. The yeah, Outlaws, yeah. and she's yes. very funny in that as well. Very. You very know she funny grew up woman. on my street, right? Yeah, she On told your me that. actual street, yeah. like in Evanston, like three houses like, down or something. Yes, just a few houses down. Yeah, and and look at us now. Did you guys know each other in childhood? Like, was it something where you guys were playing on the same swing set? Well, Durs or? is forty years older. Or were you watching her? I was her. her I was her English teacher, <laughs> and I said she's got potential. Um, her 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 uh, brother was a Popo Sal. Kyle, my face changed. Uh, her brother's a year younger than me, Thanks. so we would do like freeze tag on the playground more. But she was always around. Cause she's That's cool. Three, four, three or four years younger than me. That is really freaking cool. Shout out to her pops, always hooping over at the playground. Oh, he's a baller, right. like well, a, da a, really, a dad that played basketball. That, that just kind of blew my mind. Uh, oh, yeah. Lauren, that is cool. Lauren is incredibly tall. I did not know this about her. I mean, I've met her a handful of times. I don't ever remember her being as tall as she was. She had a surgery later in life to add seven inches to her. Dude, you know you <laughs> can do that. You can actually do that now. I yeah, saw. I mean, it might be Where like do a, they add it. Uh, yeah. They add it to your shins, your shins and your neck, oh, your, your oh, shins and your and your damn. thighs. Mm -hmm. And so but, but they have to like break everything and then add. 
Uh, but they they can give you six six extra inches. So six oh or God. nine extra inches. So if we do a GoFundMe <laughs> on the podcast, I'll do I'll do it. Fucking yeah. Don't you really? think you would have been taller? Isn't that what you are saying? If you weren't hit by the truck, that's what the doctors told me. But they might have just been ju- juicing. What me. a cool doctor! God, you would have been six feet. Anyway. Well, Damn. I think I, I, I was like bummed because I wanted to play sports and I was always kind of like little. And he's like, well, you would have been taller. Just know that. And like trying to juice me up. And I don't know if it's real because m- my mom is a tiny person and my right. dad is a little taller than me, but he's not like a giant dude. Yeah. Well, it's so, always good when a doctor's juicing people up, especially children. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I enjoy a good a good doctor juice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Juice them up. Make them feel good about it. So, so should, are we, so t- were we talking calls about? for this? 69 uh, people? We're talking about unicorns and six. Right, the, yeah, the, the 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 we were talking about people having threesomes and whether it's usually strangers or people you know. I still mm-hmm. feel it's, like it's. I think it's people you know. Ninety five percent of the time, right? Yeah, and yeah. then the weirdos are the people who are like, "Let's go find some slut uh, to do this in a great way." Uh, in a great way. In a yeah. great, fun, sexually charged way. Awesome sexual way, but I also think I also think it all depends on what kind of like ratio guy to girl sort of thing you're talking about. Because like, what if you were, you know, say at some party and two girls are like, "Hey, you're coming with us," then Listen, that you just you know have I, no I have history. To, I with. think we're talking about guy, two guys, one girl, one girl. Yes, the right way to do <laughs> because two two girls, one guy is for sure almost <laughs> always friends, right? Because they're, they're way more comfortable around each other if generally if i was if i was sure. in that position and really adding a a, a male to my sexual relationship Absolutely. i would want that to be that's still anonymous? two girls one guy i feel like i yeah. would also want it to be shut a up. <laughs> shut up bitch <laughs> a guy i don't know because if it's like a homie of yours and you have to hang out all the time and then every time you're like at a party and they and you're they're like yeah that's weird <laughs> Going to grab an Ashlyn from the fridge. Right. And you're like, hey, honey, can I get an Ashlyn? And they go and they reach for an Ashlyn at the same time and their hands kind of touch. And you're like, they're going to go sneak off and fuck again. I, I know they are. Jealousy is what's, is what's oh. getting you. I mean, prob- probably. And then you're like like trying to measure the thickness of his cock and stuff the whole time. <laughs> well, totally. I mean, yeah, totally. If, we were, if you were stuff. with your homie. Hey, what are you doing, dude? Oh, sorry, you're I'm like, trying to measure. You're just sorry. I'm just trying to. I'm just yeah. trying to measure the. But then at least you probably know the boundaries. Like you know your homie, okay. and like, well, you hope you know your homie, and you're like, but if it's some other guy, and yeah, he could he's be a wild card. He could be showing up late at night, like uh, that movie Auto, the Autofocus, where he's like, whose hand is that? And he's like, <laughs> yeah, mine. And he get, freaks out, and he's like, I got a thumb in your ass two weeks ago. Okay, but what if it's what if it's a homie of yours? And this guy's throwing it down from. It's you, okay? Go ahead, it's you. He's 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 doing double front flips. Yeah. In, mm-hmm. in, into into the off the top rope mm-hmm. into right. your girl. Yeah. Okay. Well, is that why is, is that? It, well, is it, like, it doesn't have to be your girl. It could just be. Yeah. Is it your girl? It's. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like if it's you and yeah, that's how I was. I mean, well, that's how I'm I'm taking it. That's how I'm taking it too. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking it was it was two homies and then they meet some chick and she's like both. Oh, we were talking about if it's like you were bringing right. someone into your relationship. That's that, what or, I thought. That's oh, how, that's then the yeah, it's got to be a stranger. Yes, that's okay, what I'm okay, saying. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Or you so that's, clone yourself and then she runs off with the clone. Kyle, let's start our own podcast where me and you agree on this. And I don't we'll know do if it. I have time for it, but yeah. Okay. He's a busy man. Have yeah. we have we established? <laughs> Adam, I love you. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I love you and let sixty nine. Okay. <laughs> hey, we had our opportunity and and we didn't take it. That's crazy. What if you guys did though? How would it have changed the dynamic? We would have f- gone. I feel like gone. we did that episode with me and Kyle. We were so desperate to get with <laughs> yes. homegirl that like we were sucking each other's tits and stuff. That's and right. She put that his underwear in that. my mouth. Yeah, uh-huh. that was on the Instagram account that Workaholics TV recently, and I watched that. That was an unreal scene. Durs, I'm so happy we have that to, <laughs> to, to our name. And big shout out once again to the Workaholics TV Instagram account. They're doing great yes. work over there. Yeah, we heard oh, yeah. them on the intro. It was good to hear her voice. Wow, mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever heard it before. And it's a woman. Yeah. And also the people that are that are running TII Nation. Uh, yeah, they're doing great, that. great work too. They're, We're they're really building the a community here. Mm. It's, yep. it's really crazy. Yeah, it's fun to watch those old workaholics clips that, like, of scenes that you haven't 
you haven't seen those episodes in in for so damn long. Like mm-hmm. I know I haven't Dude. like gone back and watched the old episodes in, mm-hmm. in a long, long time. Kyle quit. Yeah. Kyle quit already. <laughs> no, he's got. No, something. I'm just grabbing it because I got this. I just put it up on the wall. Oh yeah. Oh. Johnny Ryan drawing. That's oh, tight. That of that I got scene. a couple of Johnny Ryans right here. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's. It's Cartoon Kyle and Cartoon Durr sitting in Durr's bed, uh, looking like they just fucked With each other. Carl Durr's got... Look at those nipples. Those aren't yeah, real. Your nipples we... are tiny. I had nipple rings, bro. Remember? That's right. Yeah, we revealed... Oh, they were prosthetic had... nipples, right? <laughs> they they yeah. were other nipples on top of my nipples, yeah. Wow. It was yeah. awesome. How long did that take to put those on, those nipples? Was it a I... long time in the chair or what? No. I don't think so. I think it was maybe like 20, 30 minutes, mm, maybe, just, to get them looking perfect. Yeah, they look real <sighs> as hell. I loved it. Well, yeah. that's that's important. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And is. they were grape flavored. <laughs> that you, oh, yeah, because you licked important. them, bro. You went, la, 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 la. There's fucking. Yeah, how much could you, how much could you tug on them? Could you bite on them and stuff and they'd stay on? I did. I was doing like a, yeah, they were, yeah. they were on there. I think we made sure that they were. You know, yeah. um, really glued on. That's yeah. Alexi for you, man. That guy mm-hmm. is a that guy's a pro. Now he's winning like Academy Awards yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Alexi yeah. Dimitrov. Did he get a Did he get an Academy Award? He did. Or did he get an Emmy for like Mandalorian? He's, he's won multiple Emmys now. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it was. I, I just Emmy. went and had lunch Same. with him when I was uh, in Atlanta. Yeah, oh, right. Because so, he yeah. straight up moved there, right? Uh, yeah, well, he hasn't moved there officially, officially, but they're, they're looking for pr- property. All right, let us, yeah. let us know. But Alexei Dimitrov, I think mm-hmm. that's how you said it, his mm-hmm. last name, uh, he was our makeup artist on Workaholics. Great and guy. Great guy, and was always doing extra stuff, uh, was 3D always- 3D sculpting, horror, like, mm-hmm. monsters, 3D masks, yeah. Making tattoos, was always just doing more than he had to, and he was mm-hmm. a great asset for us uh, when, you know, a lot of times your makeup artist won't be able to do special effects makeup, and he right. could do both, so we really use that with him, and then he went off, and now he's doing, like, The Mandalorian, he did uh, The Boba Fett, and yeah, he's he now the, the head makeup person Guardians. Uh, on Guardians of the Galaxy three, which yeah. is a, a really, he was really a big boss. Deal. We definitely, yeah. ups. we definitely yeah. didn't um, challenge him enough because he just had to put like makeup mostly on th- us three guys, which is not like a lot. And then I think he was just spending his time doing other cool stuff. And yeah, I like to think to th- he owes us. We tried to th- throw him some stuff like the like um like Bill's uh Bill's uh, dream when we were all three those like weird yeah. like albino. Ple- we got to post guys. those pictures of you. <laughs> Your nose in that oh, yeah. was un. You that were might be our weirdest. That might be our weirdest episode, by the yeah, way. Yeah, remember we were Best like, episode. we're gonna give Bill and Montez a whole ass episode and see where they take it. Action <laughs> movie. Hey, man, that was we a fun fans. one to make. That was a that fun was, one to make. That yeah. one was excellent. Yeah, with the turtle and Bill was just on a revenge mission and shit. <laughs> right. All oh, the parkour God. up the walls for Bill. That was just. Did he have a voiceover as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, "Little did they know, I was playing pocket pool on the way to work, and I was hard." <laughs> he <laughs> yeah, killed it. He's he the best. Bill is so fun. Anytime, like speaking of like scenes that I forget about that were from Workaholics, like anytime I see a, a scene of Bill, I still crack up so hard. <laughs> Talk <laughs> where Alice was like saying something about how he can't get chicks and nobody dates him, and he's just like, "Ouch!" <laughs> he's yeah. so good. Talk about a dude who nailed every line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bill killed like just knew it. the character Bill Stevenson. and Bill you, Stevenson. it was easy to write for him. Um, and then and when him and Ghostman paired up, oh, magic. Yeah. when they grabbed each other's balls and then he grabbed his ball. <laughs> we like learned from him as we went too, as, his, as his character got bigger and bigger. Like yes. he was like, uh, we wrote to his strengths mm-hmm. and right. it just kills him. Cause he was just a guy we hired for one episode and his strengths were uh, chain smoking cigarettes in the in the parking yeah. lot. Yeah. Drinking Mountain Dew, smoking you. Know, hey, he was working Pepper his leaders. lines. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out well, there running lines. Because couldn't aren't there some like old episodes of television Durs that you saw like of Bill? Like what shows was no, he on? No, Ghost like, Man. I, oh. oh wait, no, no, no. You're but, right. No, you, no I did see Bill. Bill. Bill was on some like Disney show from way back or something that I saw. Yeah, yeah. yeah hair, which up. was surprising. Bill is in a movie. Isn't Bill like in Twister or something? Or Contagion? Or he might be. Uh, any what's of, another one? Adam was just saying he had long, long hair, but yeah. 
Yeah. He looked like a kind Good of man. like a stoner. Blake, do Flowers. you have outbreak. any calls outbreak. to to listen to? Calls to listen to. Yeah, I think we do. I don't don't know if we're let's see. Let me do, you guys talk a little while. Let me uh right, well, I think it was outbreak. I think Bill was Bill's in, an outbreak. Yeah, yeah, he's got a scene because I think he posted something at the beginning of the pandemic mm-hmm. and it was just so timely. It's perfect. Did you say Twister? Do you get, I did, but it wasn't Twister. Just re- a Twister thing, real quick. Do you guys yeah. remember seeing the Twister trailer in the movie theater Absolutely. and having your I'm, mind blown? Uh, Absolutely. Yes. I saw Twister at a drive in theater in Iowa. But specifically the trailer. Yes. Mm. No. The trailer was like a game changer trailer. I think it might have been like when I went to go see Jurassic Park or something. That era. There's, but there's, like the cow or the tire coming out at the yes. camera, I remember being yes. like, <laughs> it was a like fucking too real. Here's yes. the thing though. Here's the thing about that that's super weird is like that cow in the trailer, mm-hmm. I don't think is in the movie. It didn't make the cut. That was Whoa. like they spent the money on yes. the trailer yes. and then you're waiting for it on the flick and there's no fucking cow. Right. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. I don't know. It was one of the yeah. first times that, like, yeah, that clocked it. It was, like, kind of a big thing, like, because the trailer was so memorable. Yeah. And then, like, that's the way it sort of ends. And then you're at the movie theater waiting to see that part, and it never comes. And Philip never. Seymour right. Hoffman, like, screaming, like, right past the camera. He's like, get inside! Get in the basement! So or whatever it was. Did you guys Did you guys watch uh, Licorice Pizza? The uh, yes. new Paul Thomas Anderson? I haven't Anderson. watched it yet. Gotta watch I need it. to watch it. That's, uh, that's my next one. It's cool. It's, it's it's a vibe, man. It's a vibe. Mm-hmm. It's a vibe uh, flick for do sure. Do you remember Love the trailer it. for but, it? Uh, the, Not really. I didn't watch the trailer for it. I do, because it's David Bowie. It's yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> it was, uh, who did you just say? Philip Seymour Philip Hoffman's, Hoffman's yes. son, yes. son is the, the yeah, lead Coop, of it. His, really? his name is Cooper. Yeah. Cooper Hoffman. Does a great, does a great job. Yeah. Mm. It's Cooper awesome. Hoffman and the- Philip and Seymour the, Hoff boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, whoa, wait a minute. Wait, this no, no that might, it, was, it was the way, but <laughs> yes, <any points>. kids? <laughs> Blake, hit us with one, baby. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, what is this? This is just some questions that came in along with our happy 69. Let's see if uh, this, oh, if, if this actually will call work. and respond. Can you guys hear this? Hello, Blake Adam Durzen. No longer Kale because he's oh, no he's longer here. there. Kale, <laughs> all right, is Brendan from That's cool. Glasgow, and I would like to ask. What's the weirdest place you guys have ever masturbated? Hey, we've covered this. Good, Thanks. brilliant. Well, question. definitely we know mine, right? Well, first like, of all, airplane. Glasgow, and that is a real place. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. It's in Scotland. I just looked it up. Scotland. Yeah. Well, I, I gotta, I gotta make my way over there when I'm in Berlin. Mm. Yeah, uh, Glasgow. Uh, so, all right. Yeah, I definitely covered it on mine. Mine was on the 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 airplane. That was probably mm-hmm. the weirdest place I did that. Uh, uh, yeah, that, the weirdest. Yeah, I feel like we covered this as well. Hey, it seems like you didn't. Hey, guy from Glasgow, you didn't listen to the podcast enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you want to know everything about us, you got to listen to all 69, but, dude. But also, Blake, <laughs> we what? covered this. Okay, so I'm just, look, oh, I didn't you, I didn't prepare. Are they not labeled? I, they're so, sort of. Well, Hold on, well, let's, see. Well, let's we quickly go. go down, Blake. Papa oh. Sal, taking a shit here, bud. Wow, if, another uh, TMI. You'd rather have penises for fingers or vaginas for ears, or you'd rather shit a brick or piss a golf ball, Ooh. or <laughs> would you rather like, have taste buds in your butthole? Yes, like or poop out your mouth. Taste buds in your butthole, obviously. <laughs> that's all that. Yeah, food, honestly, yeah. That's obviously, taste out of buds. All yeah. of those. The, the hey. idiot. You're an idiot. I'm with Durs. Um And obviously, <laughs> Durs. obviously, penises for fingers. Obviously. Um, then vaginas for ears. Well, I mean, um, imagine how great you'd be at uh, at fingering. Exactly. You, you had penises for <laughs> yeah. fingers. That'd be you'd be incredible. Women would be lining up down the block. Also, that's just cool. Vaginas yeah. for just, ears. That's, yeah, that's, you're on the you're on the Tonight Show for you sure. You gotta have like tampons your in your fingers. ears now. <laughs> do you think you no, have to you. pee out of each one of those penises? Like, do each one of them have a bladder? That's a lot of piss. Sure, but then or you're what? like, that's so easy to just kind of be like, you know, that's ten more times a day I'm running uh, the bathroom. No, you have still this. You have still well, Kyle, same bladder. Where is your weirdest place that you masturbated? Because I know mine Ooh. was at a TJ Maxx. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Blake's was on a plane. Durs, mm-hmm. where was yours? I, I mean, I guess school. Yeah. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, you jerked <laughs> off in school, like in Wait, class? What? No, no, no. Like, uh, like in the bathroom. Yeah, oh, you gotta right. remember. Yeah, I, I, I spent good. a lot of time 
at school. We had practice in the morning. <laughs> then you just okay. go, you, you go straight to school. You didn't have time to jerk off at home. You had to do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And then you go straight to practice after. Like it's just, and, and horniness like, would just hit you like a ton of bricks it's a curse. when you're it's that a curse. Age. It's a curse. It <laughs> yeah. still does. <laughs> Still does. <laughs> to this I day. think probably like in the back of a moving van or something like that. You know what I mean? Like a church van. A moving trip. van? <laughs> like not a moving Trixia. van, but like a vehicle that's moving. Yeah. Like a okay. van with people in it. Well, yeah, that's... Sure. By the way, well, like, could, what, we don't know what's weird to who, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Well, did you guys ever jerk off like while in a car with your family? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> well, we had a fucking... This is why you back. Missed your <laughs> Bro, I mean, I'll tell you, now we had a 19. Okay. Again. <laughs> la, 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 la. Well, we had a, uh, a, a 1989 Ford Taurus. Yeah. Right? That there was must, always. And the, that, that was the horniest sexual, vehicle. Sexual, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, the sexiest. <laughs> this is important. The yeah. lines on that thing. You had a Taurus? That was a game changer. That was a future car. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. It was a oh. Ford Taurus. It was a station wagon. So oh. car guy. That's a beautiful that, car. Thank you. And it was the kind that in the back where the trunk was, it had a seat. That faced that backwards? Fucking, that faced backwards. Oh, yeah. so, so, you, so then you, you're kind of just creeping on like the, the drivers behind you, just cranking down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your mom's like, what are you doing <laughs> yeah. back there, Kyle? <laughs> yeah, just looking at stuff. Yeah, just doing uh, some brain quest, uh, you know. <laughs> can you open uh, the back windshield? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, can, you guys remember uh, just a few days ago, I forgot yes. who, who did it. It might have been TII Nation. Mm -hmm. They released photos of us as women and as old men and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, right, right. Kyle oh, looks that, yeah. exactly like his mom, Pamela. <laughs> Pamela. 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 Yeah. Pamela. Uh, <laughs> you look just like your mom, man. Isabella. I looked very much like For my mom, real. too. Yeah, I mean, I I look like my mom. Yeah, I yeah. looked a ton like I my look mom like as my well. mom. Yeah, but we guys, all guess look what? Like our moms. It's because <laughs> they made us into women, and we come from our moms. Isn't that wild? I'm just saying it was it was real spot on. It was it was crazy. I guess I don't it's science. I know Kyle's mom a little better than your guys' mom, so I mm -hmm. I think that's why it really knocked knocked me on my ass when I when I saw that. <laughs> I was like, I know this lady. Yeah, I mean, I th look great. Yeah. Looked like a really looked like great. a real girl. Like a real yeah. <laughs> yeah like if absolutely. she walked in the room, I'd be like, "Hey, what's up? What do you need?" It's been a second since. Yeah, I mean, I think I I thought I looked pretty good. I think I, <laughs> I don't know. A Adam, your your girl Adam had like a an intensity that I did not need. <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. a fire behind <laughs> yeah, the, those like, eyes mm. that you're like, I don't know if I can handle this little rug rat. Yeah, yeah, she was. She was a hot mess. She's, yeah, she's climbing up the walls, that one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's a hot mess. Yeah. Blake, hit wanna... us with another. Okay, here we go. Here's a, uh, I don't know. Happy 69, right. nerds. Okay, all right. Um, also, quick question, though. Know, I've always been wondering who decorated your um, cubicles in Workaholics, and who was the fan of the musician Leon Russell in the later seasons? Mm. Well, you're talking and, about my uh, cubicle. Anyway, okay. okay. Play later, bye. Interesting. Uh, who, who was our, our set decorator on Workaholics? Let's give them a shout well, out. Well, we, we, we had a few. few. Yeah. We went yeah. through a yeah, couple. We had on the, before the pilot, we had Haley. Mm -hmm. uh, she did the pilot presentation. Mm -hmm. And then Gary Corden took over. Mm -hmm. Gary. Yeah. Mastermind, yeah. huge Stern fan. Go ahead. Yeah. Gary yep. Corden. Uh, yep. Wore, wore I, a lot of cool blacks. Had mm -hmm. uh, had some uh, blondish hard hair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Slightly real, real cool looking kind of guy. Yeah, yeah rock yeah, rock guy. So but he was hot. I rock remember, I mean, she she specifically asked about the Leon Russell, and that's yeah. all Durs. Yeah, yeah that is all Durs. That's Durs. Durs. Durs was very particular about what hung up in his cubicle. So I had one spot that um, originally was Sam Cooke here, mm -hmm. um, and then I believe after that it was. Um, it was Leon Russell later, but after that, was it was it peaches fucking and herb not or peaches whatever? and herb. It was fuck. I'm I'm losing it now. Oh, um, and, and then eventually, it? it was MCA, who I have up here. Very nice. Um, but well, yeah, my mind Sam is blanking on who it was. Sam Cook there. Well, uh, who yeah. was uh, over your bed? Because I remember that. Oh, that oh. well, that I, was I, little I, little I got that right? over here on the ground. Or, no, 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 Keith, no, Keith sweat. sweat. I got to keep sweat. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That was good. That was real sexy. I thought it would just be very funny to have this super honky dude with like 
not like the most obvious R and B singer in his room, and it's like, oh, this dude's right. this dude's into Keith Sweat. Okay, all right. Oh, he is. <laughs> just um, really wants to throw it down. He just cannot convince a, a woman to to help yeah. him out with that. I It'd feel like you got the closest in our show. You got you got pretty close a couple times to yeah. effing, to effing yeah. girls. Yeah, didn't we? Well, you know, speaking of the clips that we haven't seen for a long time, they played the one where like you guys spring on in on me with like the girl we're kissing, and then you're like, whatever, you weren't gonna get any, and then I go, oh yeah, and I stand up and I just had my pants on my lap. I was fully <laughs> naked walking yeah, away. That's right. That's right. And uh, oh, yeah. if you missed it, that. go check it out. It's a pretty good butt. Yeah. Because yeah, I believe. I, say, I, I think Carl says Durs got some butt. Yeah, I think so. That's I think so. Right. That's Dang. Right. Jeez. Wow. Um, but yeah, did uh-huh. did any of us have sex on the show? Like I did. Six Kyle, what's up? Did you? Didn't I? What, Didn't yeah, I? Uh, for on your wedding episode? I think I had sex with the Barracuda. Or oh. I guess we just oh. stuck the yeah, finger, yeah, or stuck yeah. the that's, pen up her butt. Or yeah, that's right. Yeah. Pen up my oh, well, I had whatever. sex season one when uh, the chindo with uh, the chindo. Yeah. Oh, wait, I, I don't did you know. have sex or were you I just chindo? I don't know chindo? if I actually had sex no, or if I was sex, just used. You had sex off the high dive on the college oh, episode. Yeah. Oh, you lose your virginity. Right. By the that way, you have right. sex and you slam her off. I just, I was on. What a cool way to lose your virginity. That's a crazy ass fucking action. You know those. Those dudes, uh, JT and Chad, the like OC bro guys who have a podcast and are very funny and go speak at like the city council and ask. Oh, for, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, uh, fucking, uh, Ugh. Paul Walker statues and stuff to be. Anyway, mm-hmm. I was, I did their podcast the other day and we You've talked done about it multiple that. times now, huh? Yeah. I've done it twice. Yeah. One over Zoom and then one in, uh, in real life. Oh, my God. But we talked oh about God. that moment. And they were like, yeah, that was, we love that episode. And I was like, yeah, there's, we, I just kind of wish Adam's character didn't buck her so hard off of the top <laughs> and that it was more of like an accident. But when we watched it in the edit, it was, it was just explosively funny. <laughs> so we left yeah. it. But like, I, yeah. that's like only well, maybe the only moment in, in the, our show that I just wish we dialed back. Ten percent. Uh, absolutely I, I, not. Come on, he had to no, send it. No, I hear you, Durs. I hear you. Durs. No, no, no. I think he can send it, but it didn't have to be like a fucking wham, bam, goodbye, ma'am. It could have been like a whoa, oh no, yeah, save a horse, ride a cowboy. <laughs> well, I think I do. I think I do recall us like kind so, of so thinking about riding the line. So to set it up for the, the audience, line, yeah. it's I'm having sex on a high dive, right? And that's how I lose board. my vir- my virginity. Mm-hmm. Ten meter. Yeah. And <laughs> and I, the last boinking, uh, as I'm ejaculating, I she flies off. And, no, 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 uh, she doesn't fly off because that means that she just flew off. Right, she's why, launched. Why does she fly her. off, Adam? She's launched because I've by I've, what? I've, I've I've thrusted. So my, that's what it is. She doesn't fly yeah. off. She's thrusted off the ten meter. Thrusted. I thrusted her off. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Uh. <laughs> I feel good. Oops. It's also into water. And, and and all I'm saying is that it, I just wish it was more of like a, you had your hands on the hips for control and then you were so excited you went like this and the thrust off sent her over because she she just wasn't being held on to as opposed yep. to a true fucking name. <laughs> right. Sure. Well, That's all. I, well, yeah. I think the way I, that... I'm not saying it wasn't funny. I'm just saying watching it back now, I'm like, yeah. ah, okay. it could have also been funny if it was more accidental and less... Of, uh, I mean, the way we got the the way we even got there though is we were trying to think of the most insane way a, a person could lose their virginity, and I think mm-hmm. we oh, came that's up it. with that's <laughs> it. on a high yeah. dive at a party, which my goodness, freaking legendary! And dude. we quoted her Legends, that actress mate. for a very long time. I talked about this on the other pod, but like we'd always talk about how like I'm just a girl from a small town <laughs> yeah, with right. one stoplight she, she kills she rocks it. it she really rocks it okay here i mean let's... i guess all we all we would have had to do was say like have adam do an adr whoops sorry <laughs> yeah you know Oops. like like that could have softened it a little bad. bit does he say that in the cut I can't uh, remember. he might say something that doesn't sound super sorry it's like oh <laughs> My Oops. bad, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he does yeah. the Sorry soprano. about it. <laughs> Remember that Sopranos commercial with Chris oh, yeah. where he would kick over the tequila the and, t- go, and goes, oops. oops. <laughs> I love so that's my good. favorite. 
That's, That's a favorite. really good commercial. Hit us, hit us with uh, the one last. Okay, Why is that not on go. the board? Oops, should be I, on the board. I got it, but it was dirty. It like didn't sound good. It didn't sound good. I don't. Here we oops. Go. Oops. Oh, they all sound great. Come on. Hey guys, this is Cheyenne. I am calling from South Dakota. South Dakota. Okay, that's Coco such a Capital. Cheyenne. Name. I want to congratulate you on your 69. She's like in her, nice. in her room. Don't want her parents and to hear. I want to know what. Has been your favorite moment so far um, in life? I'm hooked on, on the, the podcast. podcast I, I have oh. to listen right when it comes out, and then listen about three more times until the until my one. parents come in my room and beat me. Um, I just want to say I love you, you Jews. What? Love you too. Rajans, and thank you for doing this. <laughs> Hey, you're welcome. She's at work. Yeah. She's for sure at work. She's like, I'm a nurse. Uh, COVID's hitting hard. Somebody's on the respirator. I gotta go. But I just wanted to say, 69. I think 69, this woman's dudes. about to deliver. I, I took. I had to take my mask off real quick. I think just I'll just flatlining <laughs> in the background. Favorite uh, moment. For, favorite favorite moment, moment from the podcast. I mean, um, it's pretty up there. Kyle's return on the 69th <laughs> episode. That mm -hmm. was a lot of fun. Uh, it's still, it's still happening. I was going to say, uh, when I rebranded from Arugaloids to Arologoids, <laughs> that was a favorite mm -hmm. uh, moment. 69, uh, I, dude! I, I think this is just how bad our memories are. We're like, uh, this now. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah like right I can't now. remember. Uh, I thought when Kyle left, I really thought we found our legs. Uh, and that, uh oh, here yeah, we go. We were kind of dead sprint then. Freaking see ya. Yeah. Uh, That's a great fucking sound bite. That was good. That was a great time. Um, yeah. That, that was like three episodes we did where we were able to schedule them very easily. And, and pedal uh, to yeah. the metal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We yeah. were kind of all excited to do the podcast. So that was great. <laughs> I, I feel it. like I yelling it. at Adam for liking owls was fun. No, um, that was a good one. We still didn't really go in on him about his favorite meal being lunch. <laughs> that what? is a good one. Yeah, Kyle. What is this? Adam's best? favorite meal is lunch. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? You know, you, the you thing they invented bro? brunch. They invented brunch because lunch was so fucking sorry. But, but uh, okay, well, we've gone over this. <laughs> We've this gone over day? this. This it's, is like your choices are what? It's my what favorite are time. You know to what your choices are. It's are. not. It, I'm not talking about breakfast, like, lunch, dinner, and fourth meal. Only club sandwiches. I'm talking. <laughs> it's my favorite time to eat. I would rather eat in the middle of the day and eat a big, awesome meal, mm -hmm. no matter what it is, whether it's eggs or steak or mm -hmm. cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. Those are the three things I eat. Uh, he, he eat it in the middle of the day. That's my favorite time to eat food, I think, dude. I think, I think lunch, lunch rocks. I think lunch is the best because it is the most appropriate. Wait, I'm sorry. You think lunch is the best too? Absolutely lunch you is the best. You guys are fucking idiots. You well, are I'm a freaking kinda, bozo, yeah, hold buddy. On a because <laughs> I'm actually trying to process this real time in the moment. And I actually don't think breakfast wins. I don't think dinner wins. I don't think fourth meal wins. I think it's lunch. Okay. Oh, Thank hey. you. Hey you guys. You guys are fucking <laughs> idiots. You guys Sorry. are the dumbest people I know. What's yours? What's your rib? <laughs> First of all, fourth meal's the best. There's never been a time that's where food dirty, has tasted dirty better. Meal. Yeah, no, that's okay. nasty. Yeah, that's you're, like, you you're got a garbage fun. person. <laughs> I'm down in it, baby. You're a garbage that's person, <laughs> dog. And then obviously, late like a late dinner at like nine o'clock. You're in New York City. You're getting a drink. You're getting something oh, like no. a steak, maybe. You're so romantic. Well, sure. Lunch yeah, time? I guess, I guess if geog like geographically you are in New York City. Or I'm yeah, in fucking Montana. And I'm outdoor at this like outdoor barbecue place. And like yeah, they come up and they give me a fucking. everyday life. We're not talking like a special thing. Why are I'm we? We're like not talking any Tuesday. I'm fine. talking I get every home, day. I kiss I my <laughs> children. And they go, you know what? There's some food on the stove. And I go, fuck yeah. Lunch <laughs> blows. Lunch is a rush. All right. Hey. Uh, you're wrong. All right. No, I'm not. Yummy. What's the, I'd like to give, what's I'd the like best to give lunch Kyle. meal? What's the best lunch meal? Go. Sandwich. Eggs. The best lunch meal? Eggs. Like yeah. I said, you don't Fucking have to. Bolus, it doesn't need whatever. to be. I'm not talking about the food that you eat during <laughs> the during the meal. I'm talking about the could. time. Fuck it. But, but this is my point. You go, your, your favorite thing last time was you were like, yeah, sometimes you can have breakfast for lunch. And I'm like, you can. that's breakfast late, And you can have homie. dinner for lunch. That's what's great about lunch. But nobody does. There's No one's ever said... I'm having lunch for dinner, ever. Yeah. Dude, they I'm say I'm having now. breakfast for lunch or I'm having yes, breakfast for dinner. Yes, you do all the time. You have a sandwich Who? for dinner. Who said that? I have that? sandwiches for dinner. <laughs> I go, Why I go, not? I having, a sandwich, having a sandwich for a dinner 
is like a low point. If you're like, well, I'll just make All a right. sandwich. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Kyle? Yeah. You lose! I'd, I'd like to give you flowers for coming back on the podcast for the 69th <laughs> Thanks, episode. I think everyone's lunch. very excited for being here. I agree uh, with you that lunch is the best. Thank you for if standing you're up in, for me. Let, when Durs is attacking me for no there are, reason. Well, there are four years, for. maybe eight for. years in your life where lunch is the best meal. And well, that, what about school? Like school lunch was the sickest. I was just gonna say. Dude, I was just gonna rocks. say. Oh, yeah, okay. There are four to eight years Dude, where lunch also, is the best, and, and that's, that's not it. true. If you, After school, so as you can finally actor. have a good dinner. <laughs> no, fuck dinner. I hate lunch it, is all you have. Go dinner. sit with your family. Yeah, that's I'm true. Dude, I'd rather with, just, with all the homies. I just clarified this. Okay, so you're you're at work, right? <laughs> so we're all we're all working actors, and Kyle mm -hmm. is a working director. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you are working, and it's a long day, it's a 12, 14 hour day, mm -hmm. and in the middle of the day, mm -hmm. they give you an hour break. And Thirty minutes. To, go ahead. And you get to eat the biggest fucking after last man normally results in an hour. In about an hour, and then you get. The biggest fucking meal, and, the, and you, you get you get everything. You get the chicken, you get the beef, you get the shrimpy. There's a bagel. You make yourself a big salad. <laughs> you have a bagel. Pizza, pizza. You have mm -hmm. fucking everything that you want, and you get mm -hmm. to take your shoes off, and you get but, to take off those uh, mm -hmm. leather pants that Kelvin wears on the Righteous no. Gemstones coming pizza, back. Pizza. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about <laughs> real life, Adam. You're talking about being a movie star, okay? Yeah. When I was a telemarketer, I'm talking about. I'm talking about my life, dude. Mm -hmm. But you, and that's you're not the taking, only life I know. This is the way. But we're, we're not saying what your <laughs> favorite meal is. You're, we're <laughs> arguing what the best meal is, not what your favorite meal is. You could say your favorite meal's fucking nine thirty-two in the morning, and we go, "Oh, that's breakfast." And you go, "No, breakfast is earlier." We're not talking about you. We're talking about what is the best, okay? And now we're when back you have, together. when you're a real yeah. person, la, 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 la. you don't have a trailer to go to. You don't have this fucking spread of everything <laughs> that's insane. Sometimes you got 30 minutes to go to El Pollo Loco and get a BRC burrito because that's, that's all you bomb. can do. Hey, by that's the way, I would love that. My God, lunch rules. I Guys, love and that BRCs. is another episode of... <laughs> Adam's, look at his bow tie. <laughs> this <laughs> <fucking> bow tie. <laughs> is... No take backs. Important. Important. Happy oh, yeah. 69th to hey, you and yours. Hey, let's do another 69th. Instead of 70, let's just do 69 part two. Okay. All right. Hey, we'll be back with more hot, 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 hot 69 action.